Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another episode of the No Money Spent Road to Glory. First things first, yes I have had a haircut. Yes, it was done by my mum because we are in lockdown and uh, yeah, us here in England, we're not going to be allowed to get haircuts till like July, which is awful because I used to get a haircut like every month, religiously. Uh, so that sucks, so if it doesn't look the best, that's why. But I don't think it looks too bad, to be honest. So today, we are going to be locking in the Eastern Conference for... And the Pink Diamond Spicy P, which could be awesome. And then, of course, that sets us on the final stretch, the final conference for Galaxy over Kobe. So that's going to be very exciting. And also today, we've started off selling a lot of MT. Selling a lot of MT? Selling a lot of players for a lot of MT. And uh, let me tell you guys, we have got an insane amount of MT to cash in today. Like, we're going to be over a million already. Already, and we've barely sold anything. So that's going to be pretty crazy. We've already streamed today, and the stream was absolutely incredible. We hit 450 likes, I think. We were live for nearly three hours. We have three new members of the channel as well, and so many donations. It was unbelievable. So if you guys are missing the streams, they start every day at around 4 p.m. BST, which is 11 a.m. EST. Um, and yeah, they go on for about two to two and a half, and maybe pushing three hours, depending on how I am feeling on that day. So before we jump into it, a massive shout out to the six MVPs of the channel. We have got Heisenberg, Panda, Hakim, Jeno, Anson, and Todd. And if you guys want to join the channel as well and become a member, look down below. There's a join button next to the subscribe button. And if there isn't, there's a top link in the description that will show you how it is done. It's basically YouTube's equivalent of a Twitch sub. And of course, it does help out the channel massively. So let's go ahead and jump into today. I'm so excited to see how much MT we're going to get. So the limited time event is actually really nice. A free token after every single player triple threat offline win, which is nice. Um, and I should really be doing that to get myself up to that uh, 575 wins, get those 125 tokens. And that, of course, gives us another Galaxy Opal. Not only that, it gives us another 150k as well. So we get a Galaxy Opal plus 150k which is mad. Uh, in terms of the agenda today, that's quite a nice one. 1,500 for a domination game with a full lineup of Evo players because you could maybe tally that in with doing one of the weekly challenges as well and getting bonus like 2,000-ish MT for a game of domination. But for me, that just that just not isn't, that's just not worth it. Just not worth it at all. Uh, in terms of the spotlight challenges, so today we did the Wizards for Rui Hachimura. He was the final player for the Eastern Conference, so we got him done. And then as you can see right there, I've got one more game of Lou Will, sixth man alike, uh, to get done tonight. And then that is my two players done. And then tomorrow, we'll be hitting Brandon Clark and Joe Ingles. So on so forth, we'll be saving JaVale McGee till last. So obviously, we're going to save the Lakers for Kobe. So we get through all of these guys. The final player in terms of the um, sort of like line of them is Maurice Chris. And then, yeah, we'll come back to uh, JaVale McGee, which is going to be very, very exciting Indeed. So in terms of multiplayer stuff, nothing really going on. We still never got our pack from yesterday, which is annoying. No login pack, which is just dumb. Um, but we come over here. So in the auction house right now, I've got 46 heat check cards up for sale. Some of them up for mad amounts, like a Klaxon up for 17k, Melvin Fraser for 12k. And you can see they haven't sold, and that's probably why, because they are very, very expensive. Uh, but you can see 235 cards have gone, and they are indeed all of the heat check cards, pretty much. So yeah, I haven't even got down to these bottom five or six teams right here. But uh, all the Eastern Conference, I've basically gutted all that out. And I've only been selling cards if they sell for more than 4,000 MT. So, so far, I haven't sold a single card for under 4,000 MT. And this is how many we've sold. And let me tell you guys, some of these players are selling for an obscene, obscene amount. And don't get me wrong, it's taken a horrendously long time to sell them all. If you guys saw on Twitter, I'm actually writing down... I'm writing them all down on my little bit of paper, um, going through each individual, in, each individual one of them, about obviously their name and then their price, because we can't list players up from here, which is so dumb. Why is there not an option to list in Auction House right here? I don't get it. But there isn't, so that sucks, and obviously I can't remember 50 players at a time, so that's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, I've been keeping on top of this just today, and uh, it's been working very well. So, let's come down here and let's just get started. So, uh, Mike Budenhauser obviously was the Amethyst coach. I think we put him up in the video yesterday. So 7k for him, which is nice. We've got Cam Reynolds for 5k. We've got Shake Milton for 8k, which is good. And you're going to see here, guys, quite a lot of them will be 4k. That's kind of the lowest I've been selling them for. But um, uh, Brandon Knight for nearly 12,000 MT. The prices of these heat check cards is just a joke. Langford for 6k. We've got a couple of others for 6k as well. I'm fairly sure there's quite a lot for like 7 or 8k down here as well. Uh, and there will be quite a few that haven't sold. And uh, don't get me wrong, a few of them don't sell at the first time or even the second time of uh, me putting them up. And um, that's because I'm trying to get as much of them, uh, much for them as I can as possible. Jordan Clarkson for 8k. We have got, who's that? Al Horford for 9k. Uh, the Zion Williamson. Oh, the Zion. 
So that's the Zion Williamson, the Ruby card. That's not a heat check. That's the Ruby Zion Williamson from yesterday. That's, of course, we put up for a 100k bid when there were none up for a buyout, hoping to just finesse someone. Sadly, it didn't happen. And by the time the four hours came when he expired, he went down from 30k down to 15k, uh, which is still pretty good. I'm still pretty happy about that. Bear in mind, we would have bought him for like 2k-ish. So still made a really good profit off of him. Uh, and now we're coming on to the first couple of cards that haven't sold. But other than that, look at the amounts of these cards. And let's not forget, guys, when I was buying all these cards, I'm going to say on average we probably paid 2.7k. Because like a lot of them we were getting for like 2.5 and, and 2k. Some of them we were getting for like 1.5k, 1k. Like we were getting them for so cheap. Maybe on average 3k, but I do think... 3k is not doing myself enough justice. I think it was going to be, or it's going to be a little bit cheaper than that. So we're making so much profit on every single card. Look at that. Vincent Poirier for 9k. Dwayne Bacon for 9k. Michael Carter Williams for 8k as well. It is just unreal. And like I said, obviously a lot of the cards aren't going to sell at first time, which is fine. I'll just add them straight back into the club and then make sure I'll go back through them. And if they do sell still for over 4.5k or 4.2k, then I'll go ahead and sell them. But yeah, haven't really been selling them for lower than that. And that you'll notice that I'm only really sending them for 4.2, which is just over 4, obviously, or a, like 0.9. So 6.9 right there, 4.9. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, I feel like it's working pretty well. I put a 300 empty difference between my buy now and my bid on every single card. Um, and look at this, we're up to 800k already. This is ridiculous because this isn't even half of all of the heat check cards that we've got in the club. Because uh, obviously there's loads here that haven't sold. So when we add these back in, it won't even be half. And already... That's going to hit a mil in this episode. Easy. So a lot of them there didn't sell, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but not a problem at all. We'll just go ahead and list them back up. Like I said, it's extremely time-consuming, but it is extremely worth it. Malik Monk for 6.2. Miles Plumley for 6 as well. All of them are so expensive, and I don't see why people are paying this. Heat check sets just lock in for tokens. That's the only thing they're good for. Why pay this much for them? And, of course, collector levelers as well, I guess. But why pay this much? Just be patient. And I really want to get these sold as quickly as I can. We've got a TJ Leaf there for 8k, Miles Turner for 7k. Really want to get these sold as quickly as I can, just in case 2k drops some sort of locker code or like a heat check super pack, something like that. If they do that, that would destroy the market. So I need to get them done as quickly as I can. Uh, Kawhi, obviously he's always going to sell for a bit more. He goes for 9k, which is nice. AD only went for 6, which is a bit of a surprise. Um, Justin James for 8k right there. Um, Kostas going for 5k as well. I think LeBron is up for sale at the moment, and so is Kawhi. Uh, not Kawhi, sorry. Um, Giannis, I'm not sure if they've sold just yet. LeBron, there he is, 9k or 10k for him. JJ Breyer, 8k. Jalen Brunson, 8k. Nikhil Alexander-Walker, 8k. Jackson Hayes, 8k. Jalil Okafor, 8k. The Pelicans, oh, there we go. We just hit a million NT. The Pelicans set was a joke. It was ridiculous. So, 38 cards right there that we, um, I won't put them all into the um, collection right now, but 38 extra cards that can come back in. So when they're in, we've only sold 200 cards. Uh, we've only sold 200 cards, and that's with 46 still selling. So we've only actually sold, we've only actually got the MT for 150 cards. And let me tell you, in that top right, that's going to be going for quite some time. So we've only sold 150 cards. What is life, guys? What is life? All right, down to the Evo section. Um, so as you can see, we've got done the points on, on Zoe and uh, on Pau Gasol, but we have been using Pau Gasol now to do his boards and his blocks. And it's getting there um, in 12 games, so I think I'll have it all done. Definitely not. Um, but hopefully it's not going to take too much longer than that. Um, I did sell off my coach by mistake that I had in my Spotlight Sims, uh, which was Nick Nurse. So I went ahead and bought Nick Nurse back, but I think we sold him for like 20k. And I bought him back for like 12k, so that's not bad. Because Nick Nurse actually gives um, Pau Gasol the glass clean takeover, which is very, very needed. And as for John Wall... 30 out of 75, I'm actually pretty happy with that. He's actually gone up really quickly. So he will be done in the not-too-distant future, and we'll be able to get him sold. And, of course, we'll do Alonso as well and get those three guys sold. Scotty Pippen will be ready to go in the next couple of um, episodes. He might come tomorrow. It depends on whether or not we get any content. And uh, it stopped at 1.2 million MT. Unreal. So we have made 700,000 MT from 150 cards-ish. That is hard to believe. Just on the average, it was probably pretty obvious. That's an average of about 5,000 MT per card. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe how much MT we're going to have at the end of all this. Um, it is hard to believe. Right, anyway, we come over here. And, uh, yeah, we do have the East done, ready to go. So the final player we brought into the squad was the um, Raptors. No, it wasn't. It was Wizards, Rui Hachimura, who, to be fair, when he came out, was actually a pretty nice card. Six for eight. 
um, with some very nice stats, a very, very well-rounded card. Um, but it does give us the Pink Diamond Spicy P, and of course, in turn, that puts us one conference away. One conference away from Kobe Bryant. And of course, tonight, I will be adding in sixth man like Lou Will down there. So he's going to be coming in. So then tomorrow, we'll start with 13 teams to go, and we'll be down to 11, and so on, until next week, Monday, my birthday, when we will be ready to have this guy right here coming into the club. And I am so, so excited for that. But let's go ahead and uh, get this uh, packed Pascal Siakam. Pretty sure he's a very strong card. We'll have a look at his stats, see if he fits into the squad. He might knock out Thurl Bailey. I'm not sure about that one, but we'll have a look. And of course, we're going to be getting another very similar player in the form of uh, Brandon Ingram as well um, over the next couple of days. But um, there we go. Pink Diamond Spicy P. Good stuff. Oh, we're so close. We are so, so close. I'm just thinking this time next week, this time next week, we will be done with Spotlights, which is going to be such a relief because, um, yeah, they're, um, they're taking a bit of a strain on me, not going to lie. Uh, but anyway, there we go. Spicy P, let's take a look at you. So six foot nine, small forward, power forward. We've got 28 Hall of Fames and 26 goals. So we've got Catch and Shoot. We've got Grange Extender, Quick First Step, which is nice. Rim Protector, Clamps, Defensive Leader, Intimidator. So really nice badges. And then Gold Rebound Chaser, Box, Chase Down Artist, and Deadeye, which is nice. Quick Draw as well. And Floor General, not bad at all. 90 driving layup with a 85 driving dunk. So driving is not incredible. Mid-range, only 87 as well. Probably not incredible. But 94 for 3, that's very nice. Very, very nice and well-rounded defensive stats as well. 95 interior and 92 on perimeter. Really solid rebounding. And then very nice speed and very, very nice lateral quickness as well. So, well, I was going to say if we compare him to James Worthy, no. If we compare him to Chris Mullin, maybe. Let's take a look at these two guys. So Mullin has the post game, but that's pretty irrelevant realistically. Got the better driving layout, better shooting, better passing, better defensive. Uh, Pascal Siasson has got the better rebounding by far, um, but Mullen does have the better physical. So, yeah. Spicy P, sadly, buddy, I don't think you're getting anywhere near the squad, but um, you are needed and you are halfway to Harden, which is the final hurdle, the final hurdle. So, very, very exciting times coming up this week, guys. Very, very exciting times indeed. And, of course, to see how much of MT we're going to have, I genuinely cannot believe how much these cards sell for. Like I said, these Pell set was unbelievably expensive, and so was the Hornets as well. The Hornets and the Pels are the most expensive by far. Terry Rozier wasn't this expensive earlier, but by the look at that, I could get like 10k for him. So I know we're already at 1.2 million, but the start of the episode, we're on 500k. So let me know down below, guys, how much MT do you reckon we're going to have when we sell everything? So everything at the moment is all of Series 2, I'll all be gone, all of the heat checks will be gone, all moments cards will be gone, all premium sets will be gone, all uniforms... And then down here, coaches, arenas, playbooks, logos, basketballs, and then statements, city and classic uniforms. Everything will be gone. Let me know down below how much MT you think we're going to get. Um, and like I said, bearing in mind that we started today on 500k, uh, I, I'm expecting 5 mil. If I don't hit 5 mil, I'll be a little bit sad. I think we might even have made profit from hitting Anthony Davis, which is the most ridiculous thing. Like, we've got this card, and I think we're going to make profit from getting him. And of course, Dwayne Wade as well. So yeah, my team do be crazy right now. And I'll tell you what else is crazy. The prices of players since yesterday. So yesterday, Michael Jordan was down at 300k. Today, he's been back up at 400k. If we have a look at Tracy McGrady, he's up at like 700k. Like, And then Shaq is like 1.2 mil. Uh, and then Bron is about 1.5. 1.3, 1.3, 1.4. 1 1.4. Like, what has happened to the auction house? These packs have come out, and somehow they've made prices get even higher. Like, they were already very high, and people were predicting a market crash, and it just hasn't happened. And these packs are out for another six days as well. So, I don't know what's happening. Uh, the cars I wanted to pick up yesterday, Eddie Curry, he was uh, 75k yesterday. And now on bids, you can just about get him for 75k, but it's not easy. And on buyouts, I think the cheapest is 85k, so he's really expensive. Like I said, I wanted to pick up MJ just because of the last dance hype. But uh, I ain't paying 400k for him. That's not going to happen. So other than that, I don't think we're going to buy anyone at the moment. I think we will just be selling off everyone rather than buying. Uh, Prime Series 3, I just think about buying these two guys, Lamar Odom and Luka Doncic, just because I probably will want to lock in or lock, see who this card is that locks in for. Um, because we're going to have the best cards. We'll have millions of MT. If we lock in a million MT or a million and a half, it's probably not going to matter to us, which is crazy to think. Um, but my guy Eric, he did say, just wait until they drop the fourth player and then the super packs. And then when the super packs come out, that is probably going to be the best time to pull them. And I don't totally agree on that. So we're in no rush at all. This is a squad we've got. And a lot of you guys have said to um, sort of mix it around a little bit. Dwayne Wade will probably come in at that starting point guard position. 
Uh, let's not forget, we're going to be adding in um, Harden and Kobe. So uh, let's just get Draymond out of there for the time being. Actually, let's just make it a um, point guard shooting guard. So we will have Dwayne Wade at the one. We'll have Kobe at the two. Um, and then the rest of the team probably will say the same. And then off the bench, probably, I don't know, maybe Gilbert Arena still at the one and then Harden at the two. Um, I'm not sure about that one. And then, of course, <laughs> and then, of course... <laughs> We are going to be getting not only Galaxy Opal um, Glenn Rice this month uh, from here. We'll be adding in him. We'll also be adding in the Galaxy Opal Dr. J as well. So when we get that Dr. J, then it'll probably be a case of James Harden at the 1, Dr. J at the 2, Glenn Rice at the 3 up here, and then Josh Smith at the back up 4, and then James Worthy at the back up 3. I think that team could be disgustingly good. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to be adding in this boy right here. Most likely, we're going to add in this boy right here. Galaxy Opal David Russell, of course, when he's Evoed, he becomes an absolute monster. The other two cards have got Evoed, Penny Hardaway and uh, Grant Hill. I'm not really too fussed about them, uh, to be honest. And I don't like the fact they can only play one position as well. Um, I know Dun uh, David Robertson can only play one position, but he's a centre, so you wouldn't really want to play him anywhere else. But Penny Hardaway, if you can play him point guard, shooting guard, that'd be nice. Grant Hill... Small forward shooting guard, that'd be nice. But um, small forward, we don't really need another one. We've got James Worthy and um, Josh Smith, both in that position. And then point guards, obviously, we've got Dwayne Wade, Gilbert Arenas. We're going to have Harden as well. And I have heard bad things about Penny Hardaway's jump shot, so I'm not too fussed about picking him up either. In terms of investing in these cards, it is incredibly hard to say whether or not it is a good idea or not. I think if you can buy cards that you want to just use... And that will be cheap right now. I think it's a good idea because like Andre Kirilenko at 200k with a diamond shoe and a diamond uh, contract as well. A diamond three-point shoe nonetheless. I think that's a great idea. But a Tracy McGrady for 700k? Not in the slightest. A Ben Simmons for 400k? That's not bad at all. Um, and it's interesting to see how much MD can actually make from um, evoing him up right there. But a Ben Simmons for 400k? I think that's a pretty solid price. KD for 500 I don't think is good value. But... Ben Simmons for 400k, AK for 200k. I think those guys will definitely go up. Uh, we've got Magic Johnson at 400k still. God, he's so expensive. So expensive. Melo at 300k. Again, don't think that's good value in my opinion. Uh, over here, we've got Kareem. 360, that's not bad. Is that an evo one or not? Let's have a look. Uh, not an evo one, sorry. No, they're dynamic duos, aren't they? So, not crazy. Uh, Larry Bird. If you can get him for 230, I think that's probably a good price on him. And then Blake, Balake. Early on today, he was under 300k, so he's already gone up a little bit. If you can get him for, like, under 300k, again, I do think that is a good price, and he probably will go up a little bit, in my opinion. None of these are really worth investing in, because they're not incredible um, Galaxy Opals. Same as these guys over here. I've had a look at those. And then out of the fan favourites, we've got Bol Bol coming in at 400k Evo. What is that? Oh, man. If you can get unevo Bol Bol for, like, 250, I guess that's a good price, or just under 250. Uh, Taco Fall. Let's take a look at him. So, yeah, under 200k. Again, that's that's a great price. You really can't go wrong with that for a, a Galaxy Opal. Uh, Lamar Odom's pretty expensive right now. 350. He was down at 300k, so I don't think that's a good price to pick him up for. And then Luka Doncic, if you can get him for under 250 or 250 with a diamond shoe and a diamond contract, I would say that is a big W. Um, none of these guys are really incredible. And then the new guys that came out, MPJ. Again, this morning or today, he was under 300k quite easily. He was like 270, 280. So, wouldn't recommend paying 325 for him. I definitely wouldn't. And then JR Swish at 400 k Jeez, the Henny God is expensive. I mean, just don't pay that for him anyway, because that is so much empty to have in uh, one card right there. So yeah, the auction house is a bit mad, but there's a couple of cards you can pick up that are nice value. And as for the pink diamonds, I think pink diamonds are good. Um, the Jeff Green at the moment is probably about 55 k or 50 k That's a great price because he's incredible. And Gerald Green is like 25k. And again, that is such a good price. So go ahead, pick up Gerald Green. I think he's a great price, really is. Joe Smith, again, as an investment for like one to 2,000 MT, 3,000 MT. 26 Hall of Fame badges on a diamond card. Incredible value. Absolutely incredible. And other than that, I don't even know where to begin with this market. It is just mad. But I know that I'm going to focus on my heat check cards, get them all sold first, and then probably move to the expansion expensive cards out of the series one or series two so literally just like the um the Giannis, the braun the Kawhi, the james harden just get the top tier cards sold um and then the premium stuff after that as well but it's gonna take me so long guys it's gonna take me so long literally i've listed all of these cards up today and we've sold what 150 cards and i've got 2000 to sell oh it's a joke right anyway let's jump into some comments uh from last video 
All right, first up, we've got Williams. He says, can you do a Last Dance series? If I can get my hands on that uh, MJ, or if they drop a 99 Opal MJ, I think they will. I think this collection right here, I think we'll get a LeBron and an MJ coming into the collection right here, and that would be pretty awesome. But yeah, I would love to, because the last dance, the hype has been real, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Noah, what would you say is the best way to get points with Alonzo Mourning? Quick through SCS play. Quick through SCS play is the easy way to get points with any card, and you get like, on a five minute quarter game, anywhere between like 80 and 90 points a game, depending on how hard you are actually paying attention to it. But yeah, really, really good card. Alex, is Walter Davis better than Dennis Scott? Yes, I would say so. Uh, Yankees for life, are Cohen's and Dampier still on board? So actually, yes, guys, on the Triple Threat online boards, even though it doesn't say it is the Today in My Team event, Dampier, Cowins, and of course the Diamond Corey Brewer, all three of those guys are still on the TTO boards. So if you are looking to pick them up, chances are they'll probably be there till Friday because they usually run those players throughout the entire week, even though they only advertise them for a couple of days, which doesn't make any sense. But they should be there till Friday. So you've got a bit more time to go ahead and pick those guys up if you are looking to go ahead and get them. Jesse is non-Evo tackle full with a contract for 180k a W. I would say so. That's not a bad price at all. If you can Evo him, you're going to be able to send him for about 300k, which isn't too bad. Uh, Liam, would you recommend I do the historic spotlight sims Derek Rose or Curry or any other point guards. I would say Derek Rose, out of all the historic sim point guards, um, I think he's the best by far. You get 98 driving layup and dunk, incredible shooting, incredible passing, decent defense, and the best speed that you can possibly get. Other than that, Kemba, no. Uh, Tim Hardaway, no. Um, and then, yes, yeah, Steph Curry, not really. Uh, Jeff Petrie, nope. Uh, and then Mike Bibby, undersized. Derek Fisher, and Fat Lever. No. So yeah, Derek Rose is definitely the guy that you should be going for. Uh, next up, we've got the real Beetlejuice, who's just got Galaxy Opal Kobe today. That he's telling everyone that it's definitely worth the grime, and I love grime, grind, and I love your content. Well, shout out to you, man. Thank you so much, and uh, congratulations on Kobe. We will be getting him soon. He's not a million miles away now. He is six days away. Ah, oh, it's going to be such a relief. It's going to be such a relief. Uh, right, next up, Brendan, who should I get for my power forward, Porzingis or Bol Bol? I would say the Evo Porzingis is probably better and a better value card as well, because Bol Bol at 400k evo is mad. Uh, Philip, I've copped Brandon Roy Pink Diamond for 23k. This is a good buy and or investment. I think it's a good buy and a good investment, in my opinion. Uh, Gabriel packed Michael Porter Jr. today. When should I sell? Just hold on to him for the time being. If you see his price hit 350k, I would say go ahead and sell him. I think that's going to be worth it. Lucas, what shoe should I put on Kobe? Not sure, probably like a defending or rebounding one because everything else is going to be 99, but obviously I don't have him, so I don't know his stats completely. And the last comment of the day is going to be from Gara, who says, Hey JD, I have 120k. What people should I buy for small forward, power forward, and centre? Jeff Green, Gerald Green for small forward, Jeff Green for power forward, and then Eddie Curry. Are you going to be able to afford that? No. Mm, okay, Dina Raja then at centre instead of Eddie Curry. And that's a very, very solid little trio right there. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. So much MT, 1.2 million already in a day, unbelievable. So this week is going to be a madness. So shout out to you guys for the support on the stream and the videos. Yesterday's video did so well, it's got like 6k views already, which is unbelievable. So thank you guys so much for the support lately, it has been incredible. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.